Hey. How are you? Good. So I'm gonna ask you a question. You tell me the first word you ask me. Love. My kids. Why your kids? Because I never knew really what it was to actually love someone until the first time I held them, I realized love. <laughs> Humanity. So I asked you um, about this study and this argument that you've been passing and this work that you started doing. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I think everybody has different perspectives on what is actually beauty to them, but to me, it's just finding beauty in everything and everyone. In certain senses, like, do we need it more in this world? Um, I guess it's a feeling you can't really describe. You know, it's just something you feel. There's not an explanation to really say how it makes you feel. It's just a feeling that you need it more from others and to give it to others. Spread it. Every color that exists. Yeah. And more. All the colors of the rainbow and more. The most juiciest, yet sour. Not exactly know what fruit that is, though. <laughs> Yeah. No. Definitely not. Growing up in a society that judges you for who you are makes you want to be something you're not. And you learn to grow up like that and accept yourself as who you are not. You know? So to this day, I still struggle. I look in the mirror and I'm like, Today I feel beautiful, and other times where I'm like, who am I looking at? Who is this person? What do others see in me, you know? Sometimes it's physical, other times it's mentally, and I have to try to convince myself sometimes that I am not what other people define me as. Um, I avoid myself in many ways. I just don't look in the mirror because it, it hurts me to see something that I don't feel proud of, you know? Um, but again, I also try to turn it around and say, who am I and how far I've become, you know, how far I've come <laughs> since, you know, feeling at my lowest to my highest and you know I've traveled a little road that's like I am gaining that confidence to try to become that confident beautiful person that I know I am even if it's not physically but inside I know who I am hmm that's a tough one <laughs> Um, that is a tough one. I was always teased in high school, even by my own dad, middle school, parents, family. And I think the meanest thing was always the whole, you're not going to achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve. You know, other times it was, you're Mexican. You're here to do labor, you know, not be someone famous on TV or be who you really want to be, you know. So it brings you down big time. Um, I 
probably nothing at this point because I've learned to accept my flaws and I feel that once you learn that no one can really use those flaws against you in any way so if you would have asked me this question maybe five six years ago I'd say everything I hate who I was and I've come to realize that people see you in in different ways you know like my kids for example they see me as who I really am in a simple oh mom you're a princess you know really helps a woman's self-esteem absolutely many times there was many times where there was this guy in school that I remember very clearly that he would always say women are just here to give you kids to do your housework and sex and other than that women are really nothing you know and that always stuck to me because it's it made me realize you came from a woman you know we have you for nine months and you don't realize all the pain that we go through to bring someone into this world and for you to treat someone like that and think so low of a woman is ridiculous follow your dreams I feel like that puts me in a little bit of a situation where if I would have if I was to speak to my 18 year old self I would have taken a different track but yet I think I wouldn't have learned from the mistakes that I did that have brought me to where I am today so my advice would just be do what you did to get to where you are because I feel that somehow I did what I had to do to be where I am and learn from my mistakes and mature in a better way you know because if I think that if I was to go back and say do this do that do this it could have taken me to a totally different track and who knows when I would have matured who knows where I would be now the way I was heading back then I think I would have ended up as a drug addict or some kind of like dead person by now you know so I feel like I went through the right path maybe it wasn't the right path that many saw for me having kids very young was very hard but it taught me a lot and it taught me to mature to grow up to actually think of others and put others before myself you know stop being so selfish and actually empower who I am as a woman and as a mother. I think I have so many, you know. I can cure a cut with a kiss. You know? I can make a broken heart repair itself with a hug and a kiss and an I love you. But I think my superpower overall is just being a woman. Because I've learned to know how valuable we really are. And we shouldn't let all these other people say that we're not. You know, women can't do this or women can't do that. We totally can. You know, I feel like we are the example to this world. <laughs> so my superpower is just being a woman. my effort you know my effort for always at least trying even if I fail at least trying and going the extra mile to try and at least try to reach that or that vision that goal whatever it was so effort definitely is I I'm a go-getter and if I see up an opportunity coming up I will take it and if it goes well, it goes well. If it fails, then I shall try again. And if it's not for me, you know, continue trying. So, effort.
effort, definitely. <laughs> My name is Betty. I am fierce. I am smart. And I am what I choose to be. And my superpower is simply being a woman.